such big numbers he's biting. Three hook flappers caught four fish. But we're here on a dab. It's got to be the first bright day for about two weeks. We can see we set up here. There's a little shingle bank. We're about two hours from high tide and this bank comes quite steeply here. So it'd be stupid to set up down there. Just want to be up on the high bank today. It's the three hook flapper today. Quite light those snoods. I didn't tie this rig, this was a shop bought one. Look how light they've made those snoods though, that's like a 10 pound line I think. Normally one about 15. Anyway, shouldn't make too much of a difference. I will put on a three hook flapper. Just gonna put the fresh lug on this one. Cast out about 100 yards. And the reason I'm only fishing with one rod today, you're faced with that thing, do you go back for your other rod? Uh, and then waste time fishing. Well, actually today the tide is just at the right time for this particular venue. Two hours before high tide here seems to fish really well. And it was on this day, two years ago, I had a nice bass, uh, albeit in rougher conditions. There's a bit of swell in the water, isn't there? Got the three hook flappers going on now. This is a three hook flapper. Size four hooks, really thin line on those snoods for some reason. Shouldn't matter today for the whiting though. Uh, and then we've got some fresh lug, gutted lug, but fresh to go on here. I'm hoping for a bass on a whiting. First thing I need to do is catch a whiting or ideally a pouting. I've just checked that line, give it a tug, and uh, it snapped. So there you go. These are not from Jay's rig. I usually use Jay's rigs, uh, but not today on this particular rig i seem to have got an old one here i'm just going to tie that line back on and trust it right there we go so i've got a lighter lead here 125 i know we talked in the other video didn't we the things i'm going to change this year i want a five ounce lead really um but a 125 today this is only for the whiting i think the bigger fish I might have a problem with but whiting don't care too much so usual sort of thing with the wrap lug What's the duke up to? I would actually, if you're, if you're getting into your fishing, it is worth trying to go for your own bait. Uh, I don't tend to on the channel too much, but it's actually, you'll get nice to have some good fresh bait. This one's come from Angler's Den in Pevensey. Right, looking forward to getting this bait in the water. I tend to find this time of year is actually, um, is actually quite a quiet time here. There used to be cod on these Sussex beaches. Now though, uh, not so much. We are saved We are saved a little bit here by the dab. Dab come along in February, maybe even late January, and there's still that chance of the bass, which I'm hoping for today with this lug, getting us a nice fish bait, and we can chuck that one out there. So let's give it a go. Happy New Year. 2022 fishing season starts now. What I'm doing now is just feeling that lead hit the bottom just to make sure I'm keeping bottom there. A bit of tension on the line, it's bowing round. Look at that, one on the bottom hook, one on the middle. Somehow, they're in such big numbers, I've managed to lasso them with that really thin line I was talking about. How bizarre is that? There we go, full whiting. Let's see if we've got something for bait here. I think we have another whiting. Oh, it's giving a little bit of a shake now. Got some life in it. But obviously with this big continental rod and this big spool, the Sonic AVX, I tell you what though, there's a bit of weight on here now. And these whiting are that bit further out. Well they're in such big numbers, these whiting. 
three hook flappers called four fish because on the top hook it's lassoed it. Ideally for this sort of fishing I want to be feeling for the taps just to stay in contact with anything if anything big comes along. We can do that with a continental rod. A little bit harder work if I had a big beach caster. Hopefully there's a good little wiggler on here. Oh no, nothing. Ah, it's strange. Rubbish. Right, let's try again. Although I don't think this is a string fault. <coughs> this is whiting again, I think. It's certainly coming in thick and fast. Three whiting again. Right. Three whiting. But obviously with this big continental rod and this fixed ball, the Sonic AVX. I'll tell you what though, there's a bit of weight on here now. And these whiting are that bit further out. So I cast one short and they weren't there. Oh, I don't know actually, this is quite... Well, giving a bit of a fight for itself. These are whiting, nothing substantial. I think we have another whiting. Oh, it's giving a little bit of a shape now. Got some life in it. Something tapping away on here. I want to get this in quite quickly, really. Ah, yeah. In such big numbers, these whiting. Even foul hooking them here, look. Plenty of whiting, there's always that dilemma. I could just keep hammering them, whiting after whiting, try and fish through them, hopefully with a chance of a flounder or a dab, getting the bait first, but I think they're so prolific today. I've just put one on as a big bait, just in close. Just give that a go for the bass. I really love those rain clouds. You can see them out there. It's like a window on the weather living by the coast. I love it when that happens as well. So you've got the sun breaking through and then you've got rain clouds in the middle of the channel out there, 15 miles away. Real changeable weather with these southwesterlies. But at least we've seen some blue sky and some fish. Well, so, so much for blue skies. Now the heavens have opened. We're alternating between uh, doing the whiting as a big bait and the lugworm on the flappers. We've actually got a cascade rig on now. I know I can catch the whiting. The whiting are prolific out there at the moment. I'm just hoping maybe for a whiting, yes, uh, for our big bait, but also maybe a, a dab or a flounder, something like that. Oh. Wind's really picked up. I'm setting up now. Rain's coming down as you can see. This is brave, this would be my preference. Here, 15 pound braid, and it's on a tapered leader to so bring this back. I know this is something we've talked about before, but if you look, the tapered leader gets thinner and thinner, and then it's joined onto the braid where the diameter of the uh, leader is the same as the braid. So it just keeps things nice and tidy smooth the cast, particularly on that the small rings on the continental rod. Right, let's get it in. All that wind's picking up. So you can see the difference here, look at this. That's the rod with the braid on it. You can really notice the bites with that. In fact, if I tighten up a little bit, you see it, wee, you see it go right the way over. So we've obviously got something on. It's got a real direct, it's got a real direct contact. Let's see what we got. Thing 
well, it's a bit windy. <laughs> we are getting bites though. Look at this. Three whitings are chucked. This weather was meant to come in at three o'clock. It's a little bit early for it. The things I do for this YouTube channel. I don't know what's going on with this weather. As I said, it was meant to change over at about three o'clock. And now it's absolutely pissing it down. What I'm really hoping, other than it stops raining, we can fish through these whiting and get something a bit more interesting like a dab. I was going to try a lure rod today for the whiting. Doesn't look like whiting luring weather, does it? Still getting bites up here. Well, we just had a good tap on this. Nothing on there. So that might be the dab because there's nothing on there. No, I'll let it, give it five minutes and then we'll start moving. Well, lovely. Couple of whiting. But we're here on a dab. Woohoo! Great! A dab. Yes, we have a dab. Nicely hooked. So they're quite a small fat, flatfish, the dab. They're rough to the touch as you press backwards. Uh, and they're a saviour of winter, really, from all these other whiting. You see, we're getting the whiting here, getting these whiting on the same three hook flapper. So, brilliant. The dab can get through those whiting baits. It's a nice, nice fish to catch. It really is a nice fish to catch, the dab. Look at that, yes! It's translucent. Can't see through dabs as well, look. 